Hello, it's Sycamore. Welcome to our first video announcement. We're really excited to bring video announcements to Sycamore High School. They'll be different, they'll be fun. Our talented news crew will bring you informative information about Sycamore High School, some of the staff, a lot of the clubs and activities, and we'll highlight some of the fantastic things our student body is doing. Be patient with us, we'll bring this to you slowly, but our goal is to bring it at least once a week, and then in future years, even every other day. Hello Sycamore and welcome to the first edition of the Thursday Weekly Video Announcements brought to you by your very own AIDS News Network. I'm Adrian. And I'm Shana. Today is Thursday, March 15th, 2018. The AIDS News Network is your news. Do you have a story or topic that you'd like to share? The AIDS News Network is looking for interesting stories and topics about anything in our school. Send your stories to Nathan Gibson or Miss Jarvis. Do you enjoy yoga or would you like to learn how to do yoga? Yoga Club meets every Monday from 2.30 to 3.15 p.m. in room 252. Stretch and relax while building your strength, balance, and breath control. Floor mats are available for use and everyone is welcome. The 2018 Bridge Builder Award. Students, it's time for you to nominate that special person at SHS who has made a significant impact in your life. Any person on the staff can be nominated. Teachers, administrators, coaches, custodians, lunch staff, etc. Go to this website you see on the screen below or check your slideshow announcement email to print out a nomination form or pick up one in the front office or in your English classroom through Friday, March 16th. Wow, that's tomorrow. You better hurry. Each staff member nominated will be invited to attend a special luncheon this spring. Any questions, please check your email for more info. A couple weeks ago, the C1 performed here at the Sigma High School. Please enjoy this highlight video. On Friday, February 16th, Sycamore's very own C1 performed with special guest Joe Denizen. They performed top hits such as Believer by Imagine Dragons, Rebirthing by Skillet, Ain't It Fun by Paramore, and Everlong by Foo Fires. Make sure to congratulate C1 on an amazing performance, and here are a few highlights from the concert. Enjoy. Student Council wants you. An informational meeting regarding elections will be held on April 5th during your ace belt in room 103 or Mr. Vore's room. Mark your calendar and you will need to obtain a pass for your ace belt teacher. You can get that from Mr. Vore or Mrs. Korchok and you can also see them for more information. Don't miss the mock pageant dedicated to finding the true Mr. and Mrs. Sycamore 2018 this Friday, tomorrow night, March 16th, 2018, starting at 7.30 p.m. All proceeds will benefit the Moskowitz family. We need to show the district who is boss, and the deadline is quickly approaching for the Shed the Excess Threads Clothes Bin Recycling Challenge. Keep filling the collection bins located outside the building with textiles up until the last day on March 23rd. All textiles will be accepted from clothes to linens, Got shoes, pie? Bins, and whatever else you Many of you know over-celebrated Pi Day yesterday on March 14th due to the infamous first three digits of Pi being 3.14. We thought it would be fun to ask some really smart people some really hard questions about Pi. Test your knowledge. How often does the sequence 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 occur in the first million digits of Pi? I'm going to go with C. C two times? All right. How long is I this? I thought I was going to win this. this is a, these are hard. Yeah. Uh, I think C two times. I would say two times. How long has the symbol pi loss been used to represent pi? I would say B. B? Okay. 126 years. Um, I think I like C again, 242 years. 242 years. 
Which famous historical figure shares a birthday with Pi Day, March 14th? Random. It can't be Einstein, can it? I'll go with Einstein. All right, B, Albert Einstein. Um, I'll go with B, Winston Churchill. A, Leonardo da Vinci. What is one of the earliest known records of the calculations of Pi? I will go with 1650 BC. C as my answer for that one. Okay. Uh, I'll go with B, 36 BC. All right. 1650 BC. And what is the largest number of digits of pi memorized by a human? I'll go with, for this answer, A. That one's a tough one. I think that I will go with um, B. All right. 573. D, 14,123. Rebay for Life, sign up online now. The next team captain meeting and registration deadline is tomorrow, March 15th. The event date is April 21st, 4 p.m. to April 22nd, 6 a.m. See the slideshow announcements in your email for more details. Applications for the Susan N. Sauer SEA scholarship are now being accepted all the way until the April 4th deadline. All individuals interested in pursuing a career in education and maintain a 3.0 grade average may apply for this scholarship. The application is available in the counseling office. And here is our tech tip of the week. A link to the announcement slideshow is now on the district launch pad, allowing easier access to the school's news. Do you know how many air points you need to graduate? Do you know how many credits you need to graduate? Do you know what ACT score can help you graduate? Do you know how many state tests that you have to take throughout your high school career? Get these answers at tonight's March 15th state testing and graduation requirements informational meeting starting promptly at 6 p.m. See you there. I'm Adrian. And I'm Shayna. And thank you for watching your AIDS News Network. Have a great day, and we'll, and we'll see, see you, you next, next Thursday. Thursday.